What's up, ma? I'm back with part two of why you can't get shit done. So if you're trying to do all the things and end up doing none of them, plus some random it, well then turn up and tune in. Remember, if you're digging this channel, subscribe, share, comment, and click that little bell to be notified of when the next video drops. Hey there, it's your girl Charmaine and welcome to today's Charmed Life episode. Here I help African-American entrepreneurial moms of kids with quirks feel seen, heard, supported as they strive to create more time, energy, and focus in their life. If this type of content is your jam, be sure to click that subscribe button below as well as that bell to get notified of new comment. So now let's get into why you can't get shit done. This is a three part series, part two is today and I'm sharing the things that you do that keeps you stuck in the putting out fires cycle. Question, have you ever felt like as soon as you handle one thing, something else pops up that feels more urgent than the thing that you're supposed to be doing next? And the cycle keeps going until your day is over and you find yourself with a daily action plan that has more ish on it than when you started. Give me a yes, yes girl or a hands up emoji in the comment section below if you are feeling this struggle. See, you're starting your day with a stacked deck and that sucks because you always feel like you're playing a continuous game of catch up. So girl, tell me, what do you think is the primary factor that keeps you in this crazy cycle? While you're thinking about it, here are some of the answers that I've heard from moms that I've worked with. If everybody would just leave me to alone. If I could only get up earlier. Oh, I just only need, girl, I just need to be more organized. Like I need to put all my papers and shit in one place. And like, I need to take time to really get organized. But, and the list goes, although those responses do hold some weight, they are not the primary reason why you are in a constant state of movement. Here's what's keeping you stuck in this space of putting out fires all the time, lack of clarity. You don't really know what you want. Let's be for real. Your entire day starts based off of what you have to do next. When something else pops in for you to do, you drop everything and do it, or you add it into your already crazy day. And you do that because you're not clear about three things. How you wanna feel, what's going on in your life now, and what you want. Until you are clear about those three things, your life is gonna be forever in a state of reaction. As a mom of a special needs kid, you sometimes live in a world of reaction based on your child's needs. So it's hella important for you to have as much flow and stability as your life as possible. Look ma, I get it. The demands of life often overwhelm you before you're even able to gain footing. Often you find yourself fighting for air in your day just to exist. And so those questions are the furthest thing from your mind when you're just trying to survive. I know you're wondering, Charmaine, if you say that's my baseline, but you know how crazy my life is, then how in the hell am I supposed to get to that space? I got you. Remember, this is a gradual process. When you're in immediate pain, you just want it to stop. So hearing the words small, consistent steps <laughs> does not make you smile at all. But trust me, it's what's necessary to keep you from being continually overwhelmed and trying to do those big monstrous things to try to make, create this big monstrous change. And what happens? What happens, girl? I know what happens. What happens is you go, I'm gonna spend all weekend getting my life together. I'm gonna organize everything and it's gonna be fantabulous. And you start on Saturday and you have so much vigor and excitement, but you got them damn kids and this life. Somebody, after you've told everybody to leave you alone, somebody comes in, somebody's fighting, somebody's had a meltdown. And so you stop, you stop and you go, well, I'll come back to it. But you stop at a point when all the shit is on the floor. Like you were just at the process of getting it all organized. 
And so you go and you handle the kids and then you realize, shit, it's time for them to eat lunch. And then you make some lunch. Okay, after I get done with lunch, I'm going to do this. And then your mate come in and they want something. And then you got to kind of splinter off and do this. And then you remember, oh shit, I got to go pick up the groceries. I'll, I'll finish this when I get done. By the time you get done adding all them little extra things in, the day is over. You come back to your space and what it look like? It looked worse than when you just had all the papers piled on top of each other because now you have them separated into these little categories and shit. You don't remember what them categories was because you was in the moment. And you like, oh man, okay, I'll start over. I, I said I was gonna do it the whole weekend. You know, I'll stay up a little bit extra tonight. And so you intend to stay up a little bit extra that night on Saturday night, but then a show you wanted to watch comes on. And so you say you'll do it while you're watching the show, but what happens is you end up watching more show than organizing. And then you get sleepy and you go, I'll get up early before everybody else gets up and I'll finish this organizing project. So you go to sleep and you get up early, but guess what? Your special needs kid does not sleep all night or either they have an internal clock where they get up just as fucking early as you. So the plans that you had, like, do you see the pattern? This is why being in a supportive place and space is so important while having the guidance to help you stay on track and out of the ish that ain't got nothing to do with you. And stop taking on these big humongous projects when your life really needs bite-sized pieces. So let's keep this convo going. Share in the comments below what not being clear is costing you. What is it costing you to not know how you wanna feel, what you want and what your life looks like now. What is that costing you? Is it costing you full Saturday afternoons? Because what your life looks like now is that you cannot go in hard over a weekend and do shit. You really need to break this mug up over a course of a couple of weeks and do a little bit at a time. What is it costing you? I'm listening and I'm here to support you towards your next best moves. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to add a thumbs up. <laughs> share the vid and subscribe to the channel. I know you want more support to get your life. I know. And so I'm here to help hop on down in the com in the video description section below, click on the link to learn more about my unload overwhelm program. This is an intensive six month program. That's going to help you to dig deep into your life and create the time, energy, and focus that you've always desired without the extra ish to do or the additional stress and overwhelm. So go ahead, click on that link below and get your hind parts in that program. Well, ma, it's time to take action. It's that part of the video where I tell you to take action. You can sit and listen and watch my entire YouTube channel all day long to get motivated and write notes and take plans. Or you can just start taking action right now where you stand. The only way to eliminate the stress and overwhelm you feel in your day is to take clear, intentional action. I'll talk to you later, girl.